okay so let us define a connected graph okay so let g be a graph so let me consider two vertices in a graph g let, let it be u and v then those two vertices are said to be connected if there is a path between them we all know what is a path so it is a walk with distinct vertices right the relation connectedness on a vertex set v is an equivalence relation it will reflexive symmetric as well as transitive so once once we have an equivalence relation on some particular set we can divide that set into equivalence classes so here the vertex set can be uh, decomposed into the equivalence classes v1 v2 vw and these equivalence classes and the induced subgraph of these equivalence classes is known as the components of g if the number of components is one i can say that the graph is connected otherwise it is not connected okay it all depends upon the components fine the components clearly are what they are the maximal connected subgraphs of g in fact every component is maximal click of g okay no no it is not about click so what do you mean by click it is a uh, uh, it is what it is a complete sub subgraph of g so that is click okay so the components of g are clearly the maximal connected subgraphs of g okay look at this example so in this graph we can see three components this is one component this is one component this is one. so we have three components here and it is not connected so let me prove this proposition if g is a simple graph with the mini delta what do you mean by delta it is the minimum degree of the graph okay the minimum degree is more than or equals to n minus 1 by 2 then g is connected so in the previous lecture we all seen that uh, uh, if we have a simple graph or uh, definitely it has how many uh, vertices it is n into n minus 1 by 2 number of vertices right fine so here uh, let me prove this in a contradictory way so let g be a graph with n number of vertices with the minimum degree is more than or equals to n minus 1 by 2 and i want to show that g is connected so let me consider contrarily suppose g is not connected so once g is not connected this means g has at least two components okay let it be some g1 g2 now let me consider one vertex v okay and remember we are looking for a contradiction so these are the hypo we have a hypothesis that g is simple we have a hypothesis that delta is more than or equals to n minus 1 by 2 and we have an hypothesis that g has n, n number of vertices so to these facts we are expecting some contradiction then only the theorem will be true so let v be any vertex of g1 so since delta is more than or equals to n minus 1 by 2 so we can say that the degree of v is also more than or equals to n minus 1 by 2 look here the minimum degree of the graph is itself more than or equals to n minus 1 by 2 so this implies definitely i choose one arbitrary vertex in g1 so that is also the, the degree of that also more than or equals to n minus 1 by 2 and remember all the vertices are adjacent to v in g must belongs to g1 hence g1 contains how many elements so g1 contains v and g1 contains contains what the vertices which are adjacent to v so they are more than or equals to n minus 1 by 2 in number so g1 contains degree of v plus 1 what is that one that is known as v okay so g1 contains degree of v plus one vertices okay g1 contains the vertex v and the vertex which are the vertices which are uh, adjacent to v okay okay so here uh, degree of v is more than or equals to n minus 1 by 2 so let me substitute that here so n minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is n plus 1 by 2 vertices so g1 contains at least n plus 1 by 2 number of vertices in a similar manner we can show that g2 is also contains uh, n plus 1 by 2 number of vertices so therefore 
g has what so g1 g2 are the components of g so definitely if g1 contains n plus 1 number of n plus 1 by 2 number of vertices and g2 contains n plus 1 by 2 number of vertices definitely g has n plus 1 by 2 plus n plus 1 by 2 number of vertices that is nothing but n plus 1 vertices so we proved that g has n plus 1 number of vertices which is a contradiction to the fact that g has n number of vertices so therefore our assumption is wrong what is our assumption g is not connected therefore g must be connected